Well, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is with me now. Congresswoman, you were there last night. What did you, yes, you're smiling. What did you make of Biden's tone? Get off my lawn. That's <laughs> I all, I, that's I, all I heard, Stuart. It was, it was horrible. It was, you know, the, uh, one of my constituents actually texted me, this is the hate of the union speech. Ooh. All he did was point fingers and blame Republicans for everything, his disastrous policies. He didn't have any kind of sympathetic tone to the people in the room. It wasn't just Republicans. We had amazing people in the audience uh, that were guests of members of Congress, including on the Democratic side. I had a guest whose husband has been trapped in a nine by nine cell in Afghanistan for 19 months with her three children unlawfully detained. And, and we had people that had family members who are hostages in Gaza. What were they thinking when, when we have exploding anti-Semitism in this world, and especially even in our country, across our college campuses, not one sympathetic word on that issue, yet he called for a two-state solution, building a port on Gaza. He, he didn't address the border issue adequately, he blamed the Republicans. Look, I have had, it, it, it was awful on every score, and the economic part made all of us cringe. We know that we were better off under President Trump and his policies when we actually had growth, historic unemployment across all sectors. It was, it was awful. Biden brought up the murder of Lakin Riley, and when he did, he got her name wrong. Watch this. Roll it. About me, I'd be a winner, not really. I. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. Uh, it is Lincoln Riley. Fortunately, Congresswoman, uh, Lincoln Riley's parents were not in the room. They refused the invitation to go. I think that's probably a good thing. Yeah, it is terrible. I tell you, that Mike Johnson, the speaker's uh, it expressions throughout the entire speech really told the whole story of it, it was incredulous the things he was uh, just the old democrat talking points all the all about race gender class all those things that that are divisive when we're supposed to be unified you see the american people are suffering under his policies and yet you know wh whether it's crime the border energy which is a huge problem inflation which energy drives this higher inflation especially new yorkers we're seeing you know higher prices higher taxes higher crime and, and uh, it really was was sad that he didn't even address this issue with Lake and Riley it is because of the border and our laws in New York State that allowed her to this killer to be released to kill her um, had he been detained and New York State didn't have an aggressive attorney general trying to prevent our police from working together exactly. remember that's exactly what the 9-11 Commission said that police need to work together they prevented that from happening and this woman was would, yeah. was needlessly murdered but it's extraordinary that at one point yeah. uh, the president refer to migrants as illegals and Democrats are extremely upset about that. that, that, that that's terrible. You can't say that. You're supposed to call them undocumented, I guess, in Democrat circles. Is that right? Absolutely. I thought that was astounding. And of course, you saw nothing in there really for Republicans. He made some nice, uh, you know, mentions of some people standing in the, in the gallery that is typical of all the State of the Union. But there was really nothing for Republicans or really for independents either. And even moderate Democrats know what's going on. And I just didn't, I didn't think, I thought it was a campaign speech. And uh, he should have charged this to his campaign. It, 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 was, it was really unbecoming of someone who is the president, especially during foreign wars and the commander in chief of our troops. It was just the wrong forum, the wrong tone. And uh, I hope that, uh, I mean, I think it actually helped President Trump. I okay. think it was, a, it was a benefit to him. Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, thanks very much for being with us this morning. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks a lot. Now this, disgraced former Congressman George